Bradley Miner, and today I will be teaching you Girls Like by Neville and Julie. <clears throat> it's a 64 count, four wall. Uh, they label it as advanced, but it's not like crazy advanced line dance. Um, it's kind of a funkier, more poppy, hip hop style dance. Uh, so it's not going to be any of our smooth dances. Um, I don't know that I would assign just one style to this dance because there's kind of a lot of different pieces from different styles in here. Uh, but it's a very cool song to the song Girls Like Bye. <clears throat> so that's what we will be doing today. Um, it probably won't take the full hour slot, so maybe if there's time we can dance it more than once. We'll see if there's time now. Um, and of course, if you have questions or comments, write those down below and I'll do my best to answer them. Just keep in mind that it does take about 20 or 30 seconds for the comments to come through on my end. Um, periodically I'll ask you guys if you guys are okay, if you're ready to move on by giving me a thumbs up or a heart or whatever. So, 64 counts, four walls, advanced line dance, but nothing too crazy that we can't handle. So, weight starts out on your right foot and you're gonna do basically like a nightclub two-step basic or mixed with a samba whisk, mixed with hip hop. So we're just gonna go side, rock, step. Same thing on the right side, side, rock, step. I realize I've immediately talked to you wrong. Other foot first. To the right, we go side, rock, step, side, rock, step. Yes, I was totally correct. Okay, here we go. To the left first, my apologies, we have side. Rock step, side, rock step. We step our left foot to the side. Step your right foot behind and sweep your left foot around from front to back. And then we do a behind side cross. Behind side cross. That's your first set of eight. Going to our left for our fake nightclub basics. We have one, two, and three, four, and step the left to the left. Right foot behind with a sweep on the left foot. Behind side cross. Behind side cross. We'll try that with numbers now. Going to our left, we have one, two, and three, four, and five, behind six, seven, and eight. One more time. Going to our left, we have one, two, and three, four, and five, behind six, seven, and eight. Ready? And we have one, two, and three, Four and five behind six, weave seven and eight. From here, we're gonna make a full turn on a line over our right shoulder, over two counts, and we're gonna bounce them. So weight is mostly on my left foot here. I'm gonna unwind a half turn, bounce my heels, keep going a half turn to my right, and bounce my heels. Weight is still on that left foot. So we just did a behind side cross. We're gonna make a full turn over the right shoulder, two full beats, Bounce, bounce, here we go. It's bounce, bounce. Ending up with weight on that left foot. From here, we're gonna rock our right foot to the side. Rock, recover, and we're gonna go behind side cross with that right foot, behind side cross. There's only two beats left of this set, so I'm gonna go ahead and do it. We have a hold, ball, cross. So we do a hold, ball the left foot, cross the right foot over. So that whole set, nothing too crazy in there, right? We did a behind side cross. Unwind a full turn over the right, bounce, bounce. Rock to the right, recover, right behind side cross, then hold ball cross. Again, we did our behind side cross. We unwind a full turn, bounce, bounce, rock right, Recover, right behind, side cross, then hold, ball, cross. One more time for good measure, and then we'll try some numbers in there. We just did our behind, side, cross. We're gonna unwind, a full turn over the right. Bounce, bounce, rock, right, recover, right behind, side, cross, hold, ball, cross. With the numbers, we have seven and eight. Our unwind a full turn is one, two, rock three, four, behind five and six, hold seven and eight. Again, our last break line of our first set was seven and eight. Unwind one, two, rock three, four, behind five and six, hold seven and eight. 
weight ends up on that right foot. I'm going to check those comments, make sure we don't have any questions, because we are, in fact, a quarter of the way done already. Hi, JP. Do, do, do. Looks like we don't have any questions. That's awesome. We're going to go from the top now, since we didn't have any questions. Bring it up to speed a little bit. Try it with counts. Try it with numbers. Here we go. Going to the left for our fake samba steps. Ready? And one, two, and three, four, and five. Behind six, seven, and eight. We bounce, bounce, then rock, recover. Behind side, cross, hold, ball, cross. We'll try it with counts all the way through. To the left, ready? And one, two, and three, four, and five, six, seven, and eight. It's one, two, three, four, behind, five, and six, seven, and eight. Way ends up on that right foot. If you're doing good, go ahead and give me a thumbs up so I know we don't have any questions. If you do have questions, type them in the comments and I will read those uh, momentarily. We just did our behind side cross, whole ball cross. We're going to step our left foot forward. If you're crossed really far over, that's okay. You can just kind of step diagonally forward here with your left. So we step forward on the left, rock your right foot forward, rock, recover. Step back on your right foot and you're going to kind of sit. And I like to kind of look a little bit to my right as I sit. Then come back up on your left foot and we're going to pause right there for now. So we just did behind side cross, whole ball cross. Forward on the left, rock the right forward, recover, then sit, recover. So it's almost like a rocking chair, but you have a sit in it. One more time we did behind side cross, whole ball cross. Step forward left, right rock, recover, sit, back, come up. Weights on that left foot. To finish this set, we're going to paddle a half turn, two quarter turns with our point, point. And that's the end of this set right here. Pretty easy set, right? So, we did our behind side cross, hold ball cross. We step, rock, recover, sit, come up, then point, point. To paddle ourselves, a half turn total, a quarter of a turn with each paddle. One more time, we'll try numbers now. We did five and six, hold seven and eight. Then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, one more time. We have five and six, hold seven and eight. Step one, rock two, three, four, sit five, six, paddle seven, eight. One more time, just for good measure. I'll check the comments, make sure we didn't have any questions left over from before. We have five and six, hold seven and eight. Step one, rock two, three, four, sit, five, six, paddle, seven, eight. Weight ends up on that left foot. I'll check those comments to make sure we don't have any questions. All right, looks like we didn't have any questions. I'm sorry, your internet's not working too great, Leslie, but hang on in there. Maybe it'll work better on replay if it ends up not working for you, but hopefully it does. All right, we're gonna move on to our next set. Since we ended facing the back and most of the set is gonna face the back, I'm gonna flip it around so that you guys can see what I'm doing and you don't have to go like this to see what's happening. So we're gonna pretend that this is our new six o'clock. We just did our paddle, half turn, paddle, Pat ended up facing six o'clock. We're gonna do Jose Cuervo, cross, side, behind, and heel, and cross. For those of you that don't know Jose Cuervo, I'll break it down for you. We did two paddles, right foot pointing out to the side, weights on the left. We have cross, side, behind, and heel, and cross. Again, Crossing the right foot over, cross, side, behind, and heel, and cross. One more time, we have cross, side, behind, and heel, and cross. One more time, even faster, last time, ready, and cross, side, behind, and heel, and cross. 
All right, from here, to finish this set, we're going to be turning over our left shoulder, a quarter of a turn, a half a turn, and then step your right foot together, popping your left knee. You should end up facing fake 9 o'clock, which is real 3 o'clock. So, backing up to that set, we have Jose Cuervo, cross, side, behind, and heel, ball, cross, quarter, half step together. So it's a three-quarter turn over your left shoulder. Again, Jose Cuervo, we cross, side, behind, and heel, ball, cross, quarter, half together. Well, cool. That is actually our halfway point in the dance. I'm going to do it with numbers, and then I'll check to see if we have any questions in the comments. Our paddle turn was seven, eight. We won. Two, three, and four, and five. Six, seven together, eight. Popping that left knee at the same time, stepping together. All right, check those comments. Make sure we don't have questions. Looks like we're good. Awesome. So. If you are feeling confident, at least with knowing what you need to do, go ahead and give me one of those heart reacts so I know that it's all good to move on. If you do have questions, write them down in the comments below. <clears throat> all right, I saw lots of thumbs up, lots of hearts. Oh, I'm glad your internet's working, Leslie. Wonderful news. Even more hearts. Great. So we're going to go ahead and move on to the second half of the dance, but before we do that, we're going to go back from the top with uh, cues and then with counts. So here we go. Going to the left first, we have a one, two, and three, four, and those are not cues. My bad. One more time. Ready? And side, rock, step, side, rock, step, side, behind, behind, side, cross. We bounce, bounce with a rock, recover, behind, side, cross. Hold, ball, cross, then step, rock, recover, back, then we sit, come up, paddle, paddle, Jose, cross, side, behind, and heel, three quarters, over the left shoulder. Again, we'll do it one more time with cues, just because. Going to the left, we have side, rock, step, side, rock, step, side, behind, with behind, side, cross, we bounce, bounce with a rock. Recover, behind side, cross, hold, ball, cross. Then we step, rock, recover, step back. Then we sit, come up, then paddle, Jose. Cross, side, behind, and heel, ball, cross. Quarter, half, together. All right, we're gonna try it with numbers, and I did see several comments pop up, so I'm gonna check those, make sure nobody had a question. From the top, with numbers, we have one, two, and three, Four and five, six, seven and eight. Bounce one, two, rock three, four, five and six. Hold seven and eight. Walk one, rock two, three, four. Sit five, six, seven, eight. Jose one, two, three and four and five. Turn six, seven, eight. Weight ends up on that right foot with our left knee popped. All right, check those comments. Make sure we don't have questions. All right, no questions, just lots of hearts and one woohoo. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we're going to go ahead and move on since we're good. We just did our three quarters of a turn to end up facing nine o'clock. I did see a couple more comments just now. Everything's good. Awesome. Great. Welcome, welcome. Glad everyone's enjoying. Okay, so we did a three quarter turn. We step your right foot together and your left knee's popped. We're gonna do two funky, bouncy anchor steps backwards. So an anchor step is just stepping your left foot in fifth position, stepping your right foot back down, and stepping your left foot back down. Yeah, I think you can see my feet there pretty well. So fifth position just means that the arch of one foot is touching the heel of the other foot. So one foot's kind of turned out. You're almost like making like a T or maybe not quite a T, maybe not exactly 90 degree angles, a little less is okay. And you're just kind of stepping in place there. So in this case, it's gonna be left, right, left, left, right, left, then we switch and do right, left, right, right, left, right. But these are not regular anchor steps, these are funky, bouncy anchor steps with optional 
Hardy Arms. That's my option, but it's a pretty great option, I think. So we did our right foot stepping together. We popped the left knee. It's kind of getting that bounce prepared for us. We're going to have a bouncy anchor step backwards. Down and down. Then with the right side, down and down. Optional party arms. We have down and down, down and down. Totally an option that I made up, but I think it's a great option, so I'd love to see you all do it. <laughs> okay, so numbers for that are one and two, three and four. We're gonna step back on the left foot, five, coaster step, six and seven, one more step forward on the left, eight. So it's a coaster step with a full count step on each side. So we have the left knee popped, we do our party anchors, one and two, three and four. Step back, five, coaster six and seven, step eight. One more time from our party anchors, we have one and two, three and four. Back five, six and seven, eight. Awesome sauce. So check those comments. Make sure nobody has any questions. Party arms. Always, always got to have party arms. All right. Looks like we're still good. So I'm going to go ahead and keep moving on. If you have questions, feel free to stop me as long as it's questions related to this dance. All right. So we did our... Step, coaster, step, step. From here, we're gonna step out, out. Right foot first, out, left foot, out. We're gonna do heels. You're gonna bring your right heel in, back to neutral and step on it. Left heel in, back to neutral and step on it. I'm gonna face this way for just a second so you can see me. I know in profile it's not super easy to see those heels. So we did out, out, heel, and heel, and. Yeah, so. Stepping uh, out, out, facing nine o'clock. We have out, out, heel, step, heel, step. One more time, right foot first. We have out, out, heel, step, heel, step. Numbers for that are one, two, and three, and four. A couple comments there, it looked like one was a question. Oh no, just someone joining in. Rona, no, no, welcome back. <clears throat> then, essentially what we're going to have is a jazz box. So we have one, two, and three, and four. We cross the right foot over for essentially what's a jazz box. Cross, back, side, step forward on the left foot. And this is going to be the beginning of a half pivot over the right shoulder. Step half pivot. This is your step, and then we're going to half pivot, just so you know. So from the top of that set, we did our party anchors, back, coaster, step, step on that left foot. We step out, out, right first. Out, out, heel, step, heel, step, jabs, cross, back, side, prep, because now we're going to go over our right shoulder. Let's back up to our party anchors, do those two sets together. Ready? And it's a one and two. Three and four, back five, coaster six and seven, step eight, out one, two and three and four, jazz five, six, seven, eight, ready to go, turn the half turn on count one. All right, we're three quarters of the way done with the dance. Go ahead and give me a thumbs up if content wise you know what's supposed to be happening at least. And if you have questions, again, please write them in the comments. I'd love to help you because this is such a great dance. All right, I see those thumbs ups. Looks great. Awesome. Thumbs ups and hearts galore. Awesome. <clears throat> and it looks like no comments are popping up that are questions, just some thumbs up. Awesome. So we're going to go from the top. We're going to dance it with cues and then with counts. Uh, I'll check the comments once more to see if there are any questions, and then we'll move on to the last 16 counts of the dance. And we're doing great on time. We're not even halfway done with the time slot. So from the top, going to the left first, we have side, back rock, side, back rock, side, behind, behind, side, cross. We bounce, bounce, side, rock, recover, behind, side, cross, hold, ball, cross. Then we step, rock, 
recover, step back, with a sit, come back, and we paddle, paddle, Jose, cross, side, behind, and heel, and cross, quarter, here's the knee, pop, party, anchor, party, anchor, back, coaster, step, step, go out, out, heel, step, heel, step, jazz, box, with the prep. Awesome. I saw a couple more comments, but it looked like there weren't any questions. I'll just double check. No questions. Doing great. Hi, Jessica. Thanks for joining. All right. We're going to go from the top one more time with cues a little bit faster, then we'll try counts. Ready? And side, back rock, side, back rock, side, behind, behind, side, cross. Then we bounce, then we bounce, then we rock. Recover, behind, side, cross, hold, ball, cross, then we step, rock. Recover, back, we sit, come up, then we paddle, Jose, cross, side, behind, and heel, ball, cross, quarter, half, pop, party, anchor, whoop, whoop, back, coaster, step, step, go out, out, heel, step, heel, step, jazz, box, with the prep. Ready to turn over your right shoulder. We'll try it once more with numbers, and then we'll move on, unless there's a question. Ready, and one. Two and three, four and five, six, seven and eight. Bounce one, two, three, four, five and six. Hold seven and eight. It's one, two, three, four. Sit five, six, paddle seven, eight. It's one, two, three and four and five, six, seven, pop eight. Go one and two, three and four, five, six and seven, eight. Out one, two and three and four. Just five, six, seven, eight. Awesome. Make sure we didn't have any last minute questions, which I don't think we did. Nope. Okay. We're going to go ahead and move on. As I mentioned, this jazz box, one, uh, five, six, seven, eight, rather. This step here is going to be the beginning of a step half pivot. So we turn a half turn over the right shoulder, stepping on the right foot. Turn another half turn over your right shoulder, stepping your left foot together. And then from here, we're going to do a shuffle half turn quarter together, quarter. From here, we're going to do a step on the left foot, kick ball change on the right, kick ball change, and an extra step on the right foot. So we get our jazz box facing 9 o'clock, cross, back, side, here's your prep, half turn, half turn, shuffle half turn, step, kick ball change, step. Now we're going to talk about some standing options for that kickball change. We're going to make it a Shorty George later. So, one more time from that same spot. Our jazz box crossing the right over was five, six, seven, eight. Turn one, two, shuffle three and four. Step five, kick, uh, uh, eight. <laughs> Easy for me to say. One more time just for my numbers. Crossing that right foot over, we have five, six, Seven, prep, eight, turn, one, two, three, and four. Step five, six, and seven, eight. There we go. I made it that time. All right. Oop, just some more thumbs up. Great. No questions, though. Okay, there's only one set left. And we already did numbers on that uh, second to last set. So we're going to go ahead and move on. We did five kicks, six and seven, step eight. We're on that right foot. We're going to rock, recover, forward on the left foot. Rock, recover. We're going to do a ball step backwards. Ball step. And then we're going to sweep that left leg around. So rocking forward, rock, recover, ball step with a sweep. One more time, rocking forward on the left, rock, recover, fall, step with the sweep. Then we're going to step back on the left, sweep the right, back on the right, sweep the left, back on the left, sweep the right, turn a half turn over the right shoulder, stepping on your right foot, end of dance, ready to start again, side, back, rock, side, back, rock. So, all of that said, rocking forward on the left foot, rock, Recover, ball, step with a sweep. Step and sweep, step and sweep, step and sweep, half turn. It does make much more sense with numbers. 
So we'll try it one more time with cues and then we'll try numbers. Rocking forward on the left, rock, recover, ball, back with a sweep, back sweep, back sweep, back sweep, half turn. Then we go side, rock step, side, rock step to start the dance again. All right, as promised, with numbers now. Rocking the left foot forward, we have one, two, and three, sweep four. We'll do that one more time, because that is a little bit tricky there. Rocking forward on the left, one, two, then our ball step backwards is and three, sweep the left foot around on four. Then five, six, seven, eight, all full counts. Back and sweep five, back and sweep six, back and sweep seven, half turn, eight. Eight weight ends up on that right foot. So that set all together with numbers. Rocking forward on the left, we have one, two, and three, four, back five, six, seven, eight. Now I personally kind of like to do these a little bit jumpier or bouncier, so it ends up looking more like one, two, and three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I just feel like it flows a little bit better, so you can try being a little hoppier like that and see how it feels for you. We're going to try those last two sets again. So face 9 o'clock, we're going to do that jazz box with the right foot. We have 5, 6, 7, prep, 8, turn 1, 2, shuffle 3 and 4, step 5, kickball change 6 and 7, step 8, rock 1, 2 and 3, sweep 4, back 5, 6, seven, turn, eight. Weight ends up on that right foot. One more time from the same spot, a little bit more continuously, crossing that right foot over for our jazz box on. Five, six, seven, prep, eight. Turn, one, two, shuffle, three, and four. Step, five, kick, six, and seven, step, eight. Rock, one, two, and three, sweep, four, back, five, six, seven, turn, eight. Go, one, two, and three, four, and all right, and that is your whole dance. There's nothing more to teach you uh, in terms of steps. There's no tags in this dance, and that's all 64 counts. We do have two restarts, though, which we'll talk about uh, in a little bit, unless I forget about it. But hopefully I'll remember that. <laughs> all right, I'll check those comments. Make sure we don't have any questions. Uh, yes, Leslie, the sweep is during four. I'll check the wording on the step sheet to make sure that's what it is, but that's essentially what it becomes with music on. Let's see, what does the step sheet say? Yes, the step sheet has the sweep on count four as well. Awesome, hi Nancy, thanks for joining me. All right, so that's your whole dance. We're gonna try it from the top. Here we go. With cues first. Ready, and side, back rock, side, back rock, side, behind with behind, side, cross, we bounce, bounce, side, rock, recover, behind, side, cross, hold, ball, cross, then we step, rock, recover, step, back, then we sit, come up, then we paddle, a hop, Jose, side, behind, and heel, ball, cross, quarter, half, step together, we party, anchor, party, anchor, back, coaster, step, Step, it's out, out, heel, step, heel, step, with the jazz, box, here's your prep, half, half, shuffle, half, turn, we step, kick, ball, step, step, and a rock, recover, and back with a sweep, back, sweep, back, sweep, back, sweep, half, turn. And that's the whole dance with cues, we're going to try counts now, going to the left, ready, and one, two, and three, four, and five, six, Seven and eight, bounce one, two, rock three, four, behind five and six, hold seven and eight, is one, two, three, four, sit five, six, paddle seven, Jose, it's one, two, three, and four, and five, six, seven together, eight, bounce one, and two, three, and four, five, six, and seven, step out on one, two, and three, and four, jazz five, six, seven, prep eight, turn one, Two, shuffle three and four, step five, kick six and seven, eight, rock one, two and three, sweep four, back five, six, seven, turn eight, it's one, two and three, four, and. And that's the whole thing, except for the restarts, which we haven't talked about yet. 
All right, if you have any questions, now would be an excellent time to ask them. Uh, in just a moment here, unless anybody has any questions, I'm going to start talking a little bit about technique and styling and how to make it feel a little bit more fun as you dance through it. Uh, so I'm going to give everyone about 10 more seconds or so for those comments to pop through. In the meantime, if you are feeling good and you feel like you totally got it, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. This way. Thumbs up. Just so I know that we feel good about it. And if you have questions, again, type those in the comments and I'll be happy to answer them. <clears throat> I gotta breathe after that one. <laughs> All right, there's the thumbs up and some hearts mixed in there too. More thumbs up in the comments, great. Okay, so we're gonna talk a little bit about technique and how to make this styled a little bit more fun. Ooh. So, as we do these fake samba steps in the beginning here. I like to make them bouncy as well, but not just bouncy up and down. I kind of am low and bouncy. Yes, there's a difference between bouncy up tall and bouncy down low. You can see the difference. So as I do these samba steps, I'm gonna be bouncy down low. Side, da, da, side, da, da. Yeah, one, two, and three, four, and. I'm going to step maybe a little bit further out to my left than I normally would on five. I'm going to really cross my right leg behind on six. It should feel like I can't really put both heels down at the same time. I kind of have to switch in order to put my weight on my right foot. That's how far I'm crossing. So we have five, and then I cross really close behind six. Now you should notice that you kind of have to pop your left knee forward to make space for your right leg. That's what you want because that's going to make a really great sweep, great ronde from front to back for you. So we have five, and then really close behind, I'm basically knocking my left leg out of the way. Six. And you can tell I'm kind of like catching myself. I bounce down low on six. Five, six. Then behind side cross, seven and eight. Here, I'm still low. Most of the dance is going to be kind of low. As we do these bounce, bounce, half turns, we're just kind of bouncing. Depends on how your body fits together, how long your legs will be crossed or not crossed, so it doesn't really matter. But I like to actually under-rotate this full turn to make it only to like 11.30. So almost 12 o'clock, but not quite. So that as I do my rock to the side on my right foot, I can do like a figure eight twist quarter turn rock, which is hard to explain, so I'll just show you what it means. Rock, recover. Yeah, so I'm not facing this diagonal. So I under-rotated that bounce, bounce, full turn to make it more like a 7 eighths turn. And then as I rock to my right, I turn a quarter of a turn and recover. And this hits a couple cool things in the lyrics that I think it really fits. You can do like a hip roll, you can do a knee roll, you can do lots of different options. So if you're doing the hip roll, you're just sending your hip to the side, switching, come back. If you're doing a knee roll, knee is in, switch it to out, push back. So you can play around with those and see which one you like. Then we do our behind side cross, hold, fall, cross. And it should really feel like a little bit of a stutter step. And I talk a lot about kind of stealing time from other beats to hit styling a little bit differently. So I have my uh, three, four, five, and six, seven, and eight. So I want to really delay that seven so that my hand eight is really nice and sharp. So we have cross, pull, ball, cross. Then we have one, rock, two, three, four. As I step back on four, I'm taking my right toe back and my right shoulder forward so that I'm a little bit wound up so that when I sit, I have more to twist. If I stay square the whole time, I can only twist this much. But if I wind up a little first, I feel like I have more twist unused in my body. Then we come up. As I come up, I'm kind of pushing my right shoulder forward to propel me around for my paddle. Paddle. Jose Cuervo, cross, side, behind, and heel, ball, cross. Nothing too crazy or special there. Step back a quarter of a turn, step forward a half turn, together with the right foot. Again, kind of that same. Oh, there we're back, we're back. So that same feeling of stepping, uh, behind for your ronde, I'm stepping really close next to my left foot, 
to pop my left leg kind of out of the way before my party anchors. And I may or may not have stopped for just a moment there, um, but hopefully everything looks okay. I think you're all still here. Okay, we're good. Just an error on my end. Technical difficulties. I'm gonna back up just a little bit in case anybody missed any of that. We do our rock root cover. Our right shoulder goes forward as our right toe goes back, so we can twist a little more. As we come back, our right shoulder goes forward to paddle us around. Then we have Jose Cuervo, cross, side, behind, and heel, ball, cross, quarter, half, turn. As we step together, I want to step it really close to like knock my left leg kind of out of the way like we did for that ronde. Pop! Then we have our party anchors. We already talked about making these bouncy, optional party arms. We have up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Then we step back with the left, right coaster step, coaster step, step. We have out, out, out. Out, heel step, heel step. You notice I'm also kind of down here. If I'm here with straight legs, it just makes me feel kind of wobbly side to side as I do my heel steps. If I have a little bit of a bent knee, I feel like I can twist, which is a much cooler feeling than rocking side to side, teetering. So out, out, soft knees, heel step, heel step. Then we have our jazz box, cross, back, side, prep. As we do this prep step, I want to twist my upper body pretty far to the left, actually. My upper body is facing uh, maybe like 745. So that as I start my turn, I can push my left side forward to turn myself around. So I'm pushing forward for a half turn. I step my feet together, and I'm still going to keep looking at this wall. Oh, I'm going to flip my head around as I do my shuffle half turn, shuffle half turn. Turn. Yeah, we'll do that jazz box one more time. Crossing the right, cross, back, side with a twist. Unwind. Keep looking, then a shuffle, half, turn. Now, Shorty George. We're going to talk about this for a hot minute here. I'm going to face uh, the front so you can see what I'm doing a little bit better. It's harder in profile. So, uh, we just did our shuffle, half, turn. We step on the left foot, and we're going to do a kick, ball, step, step. As we do this, kick ball step, step, we're going to gradually bend our knees more, so we're traveling down a little bit. We step on that left foot, right kick ball step, step, going down. Kick ball step, step. Yeah, so now it's already starting to get kind of that shorty George feel. One more time, stepping with the left. We have left, kick ball step, step. As we do each of these steps for our kick ball step, Step, those two steps there. Actually, three steps. Kick, ball, step, step, step. As you step onto it, your knees are going to go in and then out, in and then out, in and then out. So we have step, kick, ball, step, step. So my knees are kind of coming forward and out, in and out, as I do those kick, ball, step, step. One more time. Stepping on the left, we have step, kick, ball, step, step traveling down as we do that as well. We'll face that the correct direction. We just did our shuffle, half turn, we're on the right, step on the left, four step, short T, George, step, and then rock, recover. Rock, recover. This ball step, I almost do like a little skip backwards, and step, so I was a little up, and then I come down onto it, sweeping that left around, and then we already talked about making these last sweeps bouncy, sweep, 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 half turn. The way that I'm making these bouncy, is I'm lifting up on the ankle of the standing leg and then crossing really far behind with my free leg that's currently sweeping. Yeah? So it's a little bit of a lift with the ankle before you sweep just to make it a little bouncy. We do our half turn. I like to kind of be a little bit off balance on purpose as I do this half turn to kind of fall into those fake salma steps. Um, I guess you never really should be falling in dancing, but if you're doing it on purpose, it's okay to break the rules sometimes uh, in the sense of, for the sake of styling, I guess I should say. So that's all the little technique pieces I have for you. We're gonna try some other walls and we're going to uh, talk about the restart. There's two restarts. They both happen at the same place in the dance, but facing two different walls.
I'm going to check those comments, make sure nobody had any questions. Oh, lots of comments. Do, 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 do. Looks like we don't have any questions, though. Hi, Stacy. All right, and I'm glad you're enjoying the styling. Uh, a couple people commented that, so I'm glad you're enjoying it. Okay, we're going to try wall two, which is going to be facing 9 o'clock. Going to the left, we have one, two, and three, four, and five behind six, seven, and eight. Bounce one, two, three, four, behind five, and six, hold seven, and eight. Step one, rock two, three, four, sit five, six, paddle seven, Jose, it's one, two, three, and four, and five, six, seven, together, eight, on wall two. This is where our restart will be. So on wall two, we're gonna stop halfway through, which is after our Jose Cuervo and our turn. So we don't get to do the party anchors. Unfortunately, both times there's a restart, gotta leave off those party anchors. I know we're eager to do them. But we're gonna assume this is not wall two, some other wall that starts facing nine o'clock. So we're gonna keep going with our party anchors. Back with the left foot, on one and two, three and four, back five, coaster six and seven, step eight, out one, two and three and four, jazz five, Six, seven, prep, eight, turn one, two, to the front, five, six, and seven, eight, rock, one, two, and three, sweep, four, back, five, six, face the back. Weights on that right foot. So that was, we talked about our restart in wall two, which is halfway through after that Jose Cuervo, and then we did the rest of that nine o'clock wall, assuming it's some other wall that faces nine o'clock to start. We're gonna try our back wall now. We're gonna pretend this is wall three, just so we can practice our other restart, which happens on wall five. Going to our left, we have one, two, and three, four, and five behind six, seven, and eight. Bounce one, two, rock three, four, behind five, and six, hold seven, and eight. Step one, rock two, three, four, sit five, six, paddle seven, eight. Jose, cuervo, and cross, corner, half, Together, back, one and two, three and four, back, five, six and seven, eight, out, one, two and three and four, jazz, five, six, seven, prep, eight, turn, one, two, shuffle, three and four, five, six and seven, eight, rock, one, two and three, sweep, four, back, five, six, seven, eight. All right, we made it through our back wall. We've only got one wall left. I do see a couple comments that look like they might be questions, so I'm gonna check. Do, do, do. Oh, Willie, you're so late, but it's okay. We forgive you. Hi, Kelly. All right, looks like we didn't have any questions, so we're gonna try our last wall. Going to the left, you ready? And one, two, and three, four, and five, behind six, seven, and eight. Bounce one, two, rock three, Four, behind five and six, hold seven and eight. Step one, two, three, back four, sit five, six, paddle seven, eight, Jose, two, three and four and five, six, back it up on one and two, three and four, back five, six and seven, step out on one, two and three and four, jazz five, six, here's your prep, then we turn, turn in a shuffle half, turn we step, short T George, step with a rock, Recover and back, sweep, back, sweep, back, sweep, back, sweep, half turn. And that brings us to wall five, which is our next restart wall. So we're gonna try uh, wall five facing the front. Going to the left first, ready, and one, two, and three, four, and five, six, seven, and eight, bounce one, two, rock three, four, five, and six, hold seven, and eight, it's one, rock two, three, four, sit five, six, paddle seven, eight, Jose, two, Three and four and five, six, restart. One, two and three, four and five, six, seven and eight. Cool, cool. So that was our restart. We practiced wall five into wall six. Very similarly, we'll do wall two into wall three, but we'll be facing the back for the restart. I believe that's everything I have for you, but I do want to try at least the front wall a little bit faster. We've got just a couple minutes left, so I think we're going to try that because the song is kind of fast. Not crazy fast, not as fast as the dance I did on Monday, but still pretty fast. So, going to our left, 
five, six, seven, eight. One, two, and three, four, and five, six, seven, and eight. Bounce one, two, three, four, five, and six. Hold seven and eight. It's one, two, three, four, six, five, six. Paddle seven, Jose. It's one, two, three, and four, and five, six. Party and girl. One and two, three, and four. Back five, six, and seven, eight. Out one, two, and three, and four. Just five, six, seven. Here's your prep. On one, two, three, and four, five, six, and seven, eight. One. Two and three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Go one, two and three, four, and. And that's about full speed. So let me know in the comments if you want to try that a little bit faster one more time, because um, I don't want to leave anybody behind. We do have just a couple minutes before time is up, so if someone needs to go over that again, we can. <clears throat> so I will catch my breath very subtly and without anyone knowing. Uh, as those comments come through, if anyone needs to do that again. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Miss Joni. I appreciate the applause. Hi, Linda. Thanks for joining. All right. Well, thank you, Jen. I'm glad people are enjoying my technique tips, as always. All right. No comments are coming through saying I want to do it again. So. If you are ready for music, go ahead and give me a heart react or a heart in the comments. In some way, let me know. <clears throat> let me pull up the music. In the meantime, there's one lonely heart. There's a couple more hearts. Oh. There's some more hearts. Oh, there we go. There's a whole mess of them now. There we go. All right, I'll pull up that music. The song is Girls Like uh, by Tiny Tempa featuring Zara Larson. And the dance is Girls Like by Neville and Julie. So just a reminder for those restarts. We have a restart on wall two and wall five. Wall five is the uh, first time we come back to the front wall. It happens halfway through our dance. After we do our Jose Cuervo turn and step together with the left knee pop, we don't do the party anchors and we restart the dance facing our new wall. What would be our next wall anyway as well? All right, lots and lots of hearts. I think we're ready to give it a try. Speak now or forever, hold your peace. <coughs> All right, here we go. Girls like. 32 count intro.
Neville and Julie. I did see one comment. Make sure it wasn't a question right as we started. No, it was just a thank you with lots of dancer emojis. Great. Awesome. Well, thank you all for joining me for my workshop today of Girls Like. I will be back next week, same time, same place on Streamline, Wednesdays at 6 p.m. Eastern. Depending on your time zone, it's either Wednesday night or Thursday morning, which hopefully by now you've figured out because you're here right now. <clears throat> But if you missed it and you're watching it on replay, it's on Wednesday night or Thursday morning, depending on your time zone. So thank you all for joining me. Thank you to all the boys at Streamline. Don't forget we have that extreme event with the three boys teaching 24 hours of workshop back to back on Saturday. It's not too late to sign up. You can find that on the Streamline website. Click on the events tab and it's right there where you can sign up. I think it's also posted on the Facebook page, the pinned post, I believe. So hopefully we'll see you there as well. And there's also that PayPal link if you choose to donate and uh, help out some of the instructors who might be struggling financially. Thank you all for joining me. I'll see you next week. Bye, everyone.